So here's the answer. You partition the matrix where you identify the ith entry on the diagonal and we'll call that alpha 1 1. And if you then take the unit basis vector and you partition it as well where this one here now is the ith entry in the unit basis vector. So it's the one that's equal to 1. And notice that these really are zero vectors. If you then do a partitioned matrix vector multiplication, which is something that you learned in week three, then you end up doing this times that plus this times that, etc. Anyway, what you end up with is this vector right here. And then you recognize that in week one, you learned that a scalar times this vector is equal to that vector right there. And bingo, you have shown that the ith unit basis vector is an eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue uh, that is that particular diagonal element, the ith diagonal element. So here's another homework. Um, here we're dealing with what is called a block upper triangular matrix. A00 and A22 could be triangular matrices, but they could also be general matrices. The important thing is that they are square. That identifies here a scalar on the diagonal, which we call alpha 1, 1. And what I want you to do is to use your skills with partition matrix vector multiplication to show that that vector right there is an eigenvector, not eigenvalue, associated with this eigenvalue. Go ahead and do that and see me in the next video.